within that scripture, Luke is probably talking about um, Mary. So let me read that. The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. So therefore the Holy Ghost got to be upon you. I'm trying to find that scripture. Acts 19 and 2. I'm trying to let you know how important this Holy Ghost is. He said unto them, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? So if you believe, if you are a believer of Jesus Christ, God and Jesus Christ's Son, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? And that's in Acts 19 and 2. And they said unto him, which I'm presuming John the Baptist or maybe Peter, we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. So if you like that type of person that never heard of the Holy Ghost, it, it exists. Okay. So we got to be holy. First Peter 1 and 16 says, be ye, because it is written, be ye holy for I am holy. So we got, and in order for you to be holy, you got to have the Holy Ghost. Cause it's the only, it's the only way to keep, to keep you. I want to find that holy. Okay, so Hebrews twelve and fourteen. That's it. Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. And what was the other one? Holiness without no one. And let me just read this one and then I go. And you shall receive power. Okay, Acts 1 and 8 says, But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Ju Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Uttermost is, is down below where you where you don't even know exists. That's why you need the power of the Holy Ghost. So you're going to get the power first. Then you're going to get the Holy Ghost because you're going to need it. So then with that being said, please. If you don't know too much about it, haven't heard about it, and if you're in a church that's not talking about the Holy Ghost or telling you about that you got to call on his name in order to get it, I advise you, don't stay there. Let's get it. Get in God's word and read it. And you may not understand it, may not know what it's saying, but if you have that desire to know God more, he's going to send you to the right church. Be blessed. God bless you. Bye.